this demonstration, I'm going to show how the OSGR tool can be used to generate grid squares over a map in QGIS. So from the plugins menu, Tom Bio Productivity Tools, we can start the tool with the OSGR menu item there. It starts in the lower left corner of QGIS. It's worth noting at this point that you should always have a British coordinate system set in order to use this tool. And that's set down here. So you can see I've got this set to OSGB. 1936, which corresponds to this EPSG 27700 mark here. So always check that if you're not getting the results you expect here. Now I can generate grid squares very easily by using this button here. And the grid, size of the grid squares you get depends on what option you've got set up here. So I'm going to set this to hectad so that I get the 10 kilometer grid squares. Engage the tool, drag a square, and you can see that I get the squares that overlap with the square that I dragged over the map. These are labelled with the grid references, in this case the hectad grid references, and I can turn that facility on and off very quick, quickly using this little checkbox down here. And you can add more grid squares by dragging more boxes, and they're just added in, as you can see there. Very quickly uh, generated and easy to delete the whole lot by clicking on this button here. So it's a very good tool for generating um, grid squares on the fly. They go into a temporary layer, but that layer appears in the um, layer list up here and behaves just like any other layer. So I can, in fact, delete the individual squares if I wanted by selecting them and deleting them. And I can also do things like save the layer as something else. So right click there, save as, and I could save that as a permanent layer that would behave just like any other layer. So if I if I creating squares that I think I will need time and again, I can do that to create a permanent layer. Now, very often you'll want grid squares that overlap a specific feature. So for example, here we have the county of Shropshire. If I select that feature, I can generate the 10 kilometer grid squares which overlap that feature by using this button here. And that's a very quick way of doing it without having to uh, generate them for with the rectangle tool and then delete individual ones. And this is a typical instance where you might want to save that as, as a layer to use again and again because that's a really useful layer. Now this um, tool will work for any size grid squares. So to, to demonstrate that, I'm going to zoom into a, a much smaller area now, which is Preston Montford. So let's display that and zoom in. And I'm going to generate um, grid squares just for this little fill, field here. So I'm going to select that field. And I'll generate, let's say, six-figure grid references. So these are the 100 meter squares, the hectares, which overlap that particular field. So it's done very, very quickly like that. Now, if I want, for example, 10 by 10 meter squares corresponding to eight-figure grid references, I can just change this, click the button again. And there they go. I've got the label showing there. They're rather crowded. I can take them off like that. Of course, if I have them on and zoom in, we can see the specific references for those uh, eight figure grid references. If you do a large area, let me zoom out. delete those. Let's say I do a large area of eight figure grid references. It's going to warn me that it's going to take some time to create those. In fact, over nearly 15,000 squares here. So that gives me a chance to back out if I want to back out. But if I do do it and then decide I want to cancel, I'm getting a progress bar you see down here. I can cancel at any point by clicking that button. Okay, and that's it. That's how you generate um, grid squares using this tool.